The red hair pirates are some of the strongest pirates that we have ever seen in the story of One Piece, but what if I told you that once Shanks' full crew was revealed, they would go down as the definitive strongest crew in all of One Piece. Now, yes, you guys heard me right. The red hair pirates, they are some of the top tier crews in One Piece. We've seen that they did play their fair share in shaping out the story of One Piece. We saw, obviously, they did stop the Marine for war. We see that they were basically playing a huge hand in ma manipulating the world alongside with the world government because shanks works with them and we also do know that they played a huge role in shaping out some of the fates for the supernovas i'm not going to spoil it but let's just say that eustace kid luffy they know what to expect from the red hair pirates but no in all seriousness when we're looking at the red hair pirates we could even just look at their top tier crew members bed back man oda i believe he said that he was the, the smartest character in east blue Sox which goes to show you that that takes a lot for Ben Beckman to be the smartest that means that this guy is hype and the infamous oh Ben Beckman seed so we already know that Kizaru he's scared of Ben Beckman I'm not gonna say scared but we know that he has some respect for Ben Beckman and speaking of respect if you don't respect the red hair pirates then you will be fixed quickly by Lucky Root because yeah this guy is the shooter of the group and we know he is infamous for killing the first character on screen without any hesitation and i'm just gonna be interested to see what lucky Rue can do i mean this guy is 100 percent hype he shakes i think he shakes right hand bad so the fact that this guy he's so important in the series yet we haven't seen what his abilities can do unlike his other crewmates goes to show you that lucky Rue will be exciting and the man the myth the legend yeah stop listen when a man comes out to you on a boat to recruit you that's how you know how filthy you are but no in all seriousness yeah stop he is the top tier sniper in the world i think he's the best sniper in the world and shakes himself knew he had to get somebody like that on his crew and we know that Usopp has to surpass this legend yasop so i to be honest i'm excited to see what yasop can do i mean you guys see that i had this man as my profile picture for a short period of time but no in all seriousness last but not least the best and strongest member of shanks's crew rockstar because we saw that this was the first man to go toe to toe with the yonko no no y'all not feeling okay okay let's just move on but no in all seriousness i do think there's a chance that shanks he can have secret cp0 members on his crew yes as you guys know shanks he is working with the world government we know that he is one of the only pirates who isn't a part of the shichibukai system to actually be able to meet with the higher tiers with the gore say with i'm sama so the fact that he's working with them goes to show you that they might be plugging his pirate crew with strong world government members and after being revealed to extract secret identity of him being in the marines i definitely don't think that's too far-fetched so i do think that there's a chance that there's some secret cp0 members or just some high-ranking world government members maybe ex gorsay members that are a part of shanks crew and speaking of his crew i definitely do think that there's more paramecias like luffy yes for example we know that luffy one of the main things about his devil fruit is the fact that he's able to utilize something like a gear i think that shanks he has people that who can use abilities like gear on luffy's crew and then once luffy does fight him he'll be introduced to a whole new realm of abilities because luffy's gear attacks while they are different he only really uses like one attack when he uses the gear mode so i do think that he'll be able to change up the varieties once he does meet the new uh paramecias in shanks's crew and we know that shanks we saw that the gomu gomu no mi it is a simple yet deadly technique so it made me think that shanks his crew uh persona i think it might be on the simple side whereas we know that kaido he likes animals and you know big mom she obviously loves her family to be a part of her crew i think that shanks whole moniker is him being a simple and basic guy therefore you'll have people with simple yet deadly abilities for example but that's why he was carrying a fruit as strong as the gomu gomu no mi but what if I told you that Shanks was able to recruit Roger's old crewmates? Yes, because we know that Shanks, he was the fan favorite youngin on Roger's crew after Odin has revealed it because jokingly he called Buggy the second son. But no, in all seriousness, Shanks was the fan favorite youngin of Roger's crew. So who's not to say that after Roger did this fan, people from roger's crew didn't want to join up with shanks and i definitely do think that's the same case when it goes to roger's rivals because we see that shanks he is the strongest 
pirate to come off of Rogers' crew. So what if Rogers' rivals, the one who basically were able to make it to the top, finally did go underneath him, or maybe Shanks did beat them and ended up joining them. But regards to the fact, I do believe that Rogers' old crew members, the ones that did stay alive, because I don't think they're all killed off. I definitely do think they did end up joining Shanks' crew. And once we do get revealed to the full red hair pirates, they will go down as the strongest crew in all of One Piece. Comment what you guys see down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.